guys. I'm here with Jordan. Hi. We are making sushi. What kind of sushi? Vegan sushi. Vegan sushi because she's vegan. She's prepped some things so that we don't have to wait around. I prepared the rice and let it cool. Right from Chinatown. <laughs> and okay. also the sweet potato. It's like I put it in the oven for one hour. And so how did you I'm excited. I love sushi. Like what I'm going to use is white mushrooms. Uh-huh. I'm going to put this. Okay. Super sesame oil. I don't know it's yeah. super. A little bit of soy sauce. Yeah. This is such a cute little apartment. Yeah, let's do it here. We've moved to the kitchen. I mean, <laughs> we've moved from the kitchen to the living room yeah, it's way too warm. because it's super hot. And now Jordan is cutting up all the. We have a little really cute setup. I'm going to show you. We've moved the dining table. <laughs> oh, what's this? This is a tip. Wow. That's the easiest way to do it, and then you can just. I've never seen that before. Ah! I can move the other one as well. Who taught you that? YouTube, of course. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> well, you're gonna be like, oh, I was in the <laughs> deepest mountains in India, and some woman showed me a monastery. Glass, okay, mango. And you just go wow. Like okay, that is the highlight of this entire thing. Wow, small. Like, one other part. Jordan's boyfriend is French. Yeah. And Jordan's Swedish, and they've been doing this thing where every other day they choose yeah. a language, right? I'm stuck in Super French huge. for five years. Ah! But I don't know shit. Okay, that's like game. I got a D in French. And I had a trick to three, which is the textbook. I cheated for five years, and I, I don't even know how to talk about it. Okay, so but you know, it's, you know, it's the language of love. I have to date someone French, and then. You become fluent. Oh my god, you guys are so cute. You don't um, get them. Oh. oh! Today is the 1st of July. Today is the 2nd of July. Cute. Team video content. Yeah. <laughs> but this is nice, it's different. So, Jordan met her boyfriend in New York City and they've been together for six months. Yeah, I want to say six months. That's I tender. remember when. Yeah, see? Millennial dating is possible. And now they live in the most adorable little. East Village studio, which I would like to move into. <laughs> in Sweden, everyone has Tinder, so it's like. Same with London. It's not a big deal. But it's more of like a hookup thing. People are yeah. dating. Uh, in the beginning, it was in Sweden as well. Like my first friend that got it, he was we were like, is he okay? So we have our rice. And I'm putting a bit of cold water on my fingers okay. so it won't stick. You say a bit at the end? Yeah, just so that it will stick. You can also use like a bit of water. The first one was avocado and sweet potato, mango. Now we're putting the mushrooms, tahini. You're gonna add that in. Yeah, we're gonna put it with sweet potato because it's so good. Nine, ten years old. Uh -huh. You started modeling when you were nine, ten. Yeah. Doing what? Uh, Prada. Basically, <laughs> I got a job, and after that, I like to my mother agency, and I've been with them since I was. Wow. When I was. Eleven. That's yeah. insane. And then I went to Tokyo when I was, I turned thirteen when I was in Tokyo, so I went there when I was twelve. Wait, 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 wait. You're one of the girls who've been to Asia, like, as like preteen. That's crazy. Tell me, how was that? And did you go alone? My mom came with me. Okay. I. That's good. I was. I wasn't gonna say it, but that's good. Because <laughs> I met the uh, the agents in Tokyo when I was eleven, and they're like, "Can you come this summer?" And I was like. You're like I'm 11, 11, so... I'm 11! I shot bridal before I turned 13. Oh my god! You were a child's guy. Yeah. I was shooting it with another Swedish girl, and she was like... Also 13? No, she was 19. <laughs> it was like this... this, this so it's real. How did you feel though, being 13 and being in Japan, and then also being in a bridal dress? I didn't think about it. Oh, like, my parents were like, well, you're too young to go on your own. I was like, yeah. I'm not a kid. I'm 13, okay? Yeah, right. Um, well, especially if you've already started, you technically have done it for like two years already. You probably did feel yeah. like, oh, I'm ready. Like, at a job uh, or at a casting, they were like, would you want to buy your hair blue? Yes! I was like, hell yeah. I feel like you have a 
to take chances like that, otherwise you don't. Like that's something I've realised. Just not just with modelling, but just in general. Like you have to, you have to just take risks. You're always going to get what you want. Well, I want to be like my industry. I don't know. I really want to go back there. I haven't been there since I was fourteen. Wait, so you went thirteen years old, and then did you, you went back again? On, I went back. Two times. Wow. Um, and I was still in school. I think that's why. Because of Tokyo? Yeah. yeah. Well, I miss <laughs> That's so a good much. excuse. But you preferred modeling to school? School told me that if I didn't stay in school, I wouldn't get more than mm-hmm. And so you were like, screw you. <laughs> yeah, well, basically. I'm guessing you like modeling since mm-hmm. you've been doing it. You've been I doing it. it. You're like a veteran. You've been doing it for years. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's been your highlight of your career. I'm talking as if it's over, but <laughs> what's been your highlight of your hmm. life? been so excited to go to New York for ever. Yeah. Because my agency told me when I was like 13 that like we think that you can work full time in New York and since then I've been like this is the highlight. This is the highlight. Specifically today filming with some random Asian girls. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jordan as a as a bride. bride. Wow. It's like the other one. Though. Yeah. I think it's it's crazy. Mm-hmm. You it looks like you but you can tell yeah you're like very young right yeah. I have one of my first jobs here. I think I'm 10 here. <laughs> you look kind of like Lily Rose Depp. Oh yeah? Wow. And the guy behind, he's like standing on a thing. Yeah. He was so, well, I was tall. I was 11, I was my seventh grade. Oh, this is the cutest play ever. <laughs> really Swedish. This is, yeah, this, I have Dost. this. <laughs> I have the horse, but I don't know what it means. One of the best things yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is awesome. I would say living with a vegan has made me more vegan. Uh-huh. I'm not vegan, I eat lots of fish, but uh-huh. definitely like fish. at home. Yeah, lots fish of is like the only thing that I can still be like, that's really good. Really good. Yeah. And it is good for you. I didn't stop eating meat because I didn't like the taste, because I love the taste. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's not like, I never crave it ever. Over here we have sweet potato and avocado. Here we have a mix of everything, which is mango, sweet potato, avocado, and tahini. The mushrooms, mango, mango, and avocado, sweet potato, and tahini. Happy? Mm-hmm. You have the perfect department. Mm. And we're the only ones. I'm good. So we're done, and we've just finished a long conversation about high carb veganism. It's we, the best. We finished this entire plate. It's that big. And now I'm going to finish the last one. Thank you. You're welcome.